Timmy Joe reviews anything. Reviewing computer parts on YouTube. That's Woo! You gotta be pumped on that, right? Well, computer parts! Woo! Oh, yeah. What is up? My name is Timmy Joe, making videos about computers on the internet. Water cooling build conclusion time. Fish eye lens. Hi there. So, um, yeah. Got... Uh, but a couple weeks of testing, or a week and a half, whatever, testing into this thing. Figuring out, is it worth it to do a custom water loop uh, over other options like custom cards, custom coolers on cards, water cooling a card. Um, uh, this is my test bench where this thing used to be. Had a really good AIO on it. It's really dusty. Uh, the uh, Arctic uh, Liquid Freezer 240, and uh, in, the, in the long run... Yes, super worth it to do this if you like the look of it. No, not really worth it to do this if you don't have any money. No, not really worth it to do this if you're expecting magic in the performance department. Yes, the performance is very, very good. In fact, my GPU performance is a little better than this thing uh, than before. And the overclock goes just a smidgen higher with this configuration. Uh, but the water cooling performance on the CPU, uh, not so much. We'll discuss the results in a second. But I do want to say uh, that I thank you very much to all the sponsors that helped me out with this. Uh, Alpha Cool sent me like a, a way too much stuff. A way too big a radiator <laughs> to, to, to do this and it worked out very well uh, I ended up not using their pump and reservoir but uh, although the tubes the lines the fittings everything worked very very well very easy to use alpha cool super thumbs up if you're looking for water cooling stuff forget uh, EK okay because it sucks use uh, alternatives Alpha cool very good stuff I'm really really digging it now, uh, second thanks to FSP. They sent me this case. This case is amazing. It, proof right here that it does a full cu custom water loop. You can put an AIO in it. Uh, you know, it, it's full tempered glass, and the uh, cooling on the front panel there the, uh, gets plenty of air in that little gap surrounding it so that uh, those three fans can push lots of air into the case. No problem with ventilation, no problem with setup. This is an amazing deal, and it's only a hundred freaking dollars. It's a super, it's just a, such a good deal at that price. Uh, I would recommend this thing wholeheartedly for sure. Now, the other sponsor would be Enermax, and I'm using their pump in there. It is freaking awesome. It has its own remote. It's got RGB. You could change the colors on, you know, that's, isn't that freaking cool? Just do it to blue. Oh, I want purple today. You know, but I'm, I've got a little white ring on there. And it's a combo that's a lot smaller and effective, and you can change the RPM with that thing, and it's just like, oh, super, super cool. I heard that the, I'm going to do a review on it after I've got it in there for a couple of months to see if there's been any issues with corrosion because it has an aluminum top, and I didn't know that until just recently. But, uh, yeah, everything's really worked out super well, and I'm super happy with the results. It's got a little um, exit right here. That allows you to uh, easily uh, drain and fill the loop. And it's a 1070 in there with, uh, of course, an Intel Core i7 7740X, D lidded, running at 5.2 gigahertz, uh, 1.38 volts all day long. We'll see this, some of the settings I've been using and stuff, but uh, this thing just runs, it's overclocked to the nines. And uh, I'm getting pretty much the same results as I was getting before with the AIO. Uh, a couple degrees warmer in this, but I've got the GPU and the CPU in the same rad. Like, there's only one rad in there. The CPU comes first, of course. It's a huge rad. Uh, lots of fans, lots of ventilation in there. But overall, I'm very happy with the results. So let's, let's talk about them. So number one, uh, this, this coolant, uh, there's no sugar in it. Okay, I put red food dye in it, which is just a non-toxic dye the red dye used pretty much for anything red it's crushed beetles apparently and it does not taste like sugar it will not affect the loop this this is uh, a specialized coolant that's supposed to prevent any sort of uh, uh stuff from forming in it biology you know from you know algae and whatnot i think this will work out but we'll do a review once i've had it in the loop for a long time and uh of course the the one uh area with the cpu is 
I'm, you know, it, it's got a huge rad compared to before, uh, and I think the there's no obstructions around the VRM, and it's getting a pretty, you know, pretty good airflow. It seems to be just working just fine. Uh, I, I can get the CPU to 5.4 gigahertz and do like a couple of tests. Running it at 5 gigahertz uh, and doing a 10 minute Prime 95 run, uh, it actually was two degrees hotter than the AIO on the open test bench before. Now take that AIO and put it in a case, probably would have performed just about the same. So I'm getting the same performance there. So, you know, take the amount of money that was spent on this and subtract a good AIO and a good board partner card with some good, you know, cooling. Is this worth it? Well, it looks freaking amazing and it was a lot of fun to do. So in my opinion, yes, but performance wise, you can get this sort of the same results with some off the shelf stuff that's gonna be a lot easier to set up. So uh, where I am seeing a little bit of a gain though, uh, and this number here uh, before would dip under uh, 2100 and never go back with this cooler on it because the VRM and everything on that card is now being cooled uh, actively with that uh, with, with the block. I believe it's allowing this card to just you know get this much more of an overclock and it's typically staying above uh, even you know it's at 50 degrees right now and it's at 21 uh, 25 megahertz sometimes so you know before I think I was uh, somewhere in the it would, it would go up to almost 60 in this same situation so the GPU is definitely better off cooled this way than with this thing way better than you know the the stock uh, cooler that I had on it. It's a Founders Edition card. The, the coolers suck, of course. But yeah, uh, in in the end, this thing overclocked to the nines, 5.2 gigahertz, uh, and uh, 1.38 volts. Low line calibration set to seven. I could probably tweak this stuff and even bring it a bit lower. But I'm getting maximum performance out of all four eight thread you know cores going on in here. The GPU is maxed out with a power mod. Remember, I put liquid metal on the shunt resistor. That's allowing this thing to break uh, 2100 megahertz uh, with some pretty decent settings here without you know voltage and with, with uh, the power slider not even near the, the edge. And uh, I, I'm basically not getting any better performance than I did before on my open air test bench with you know messing with a few things. But now it's in a case it's running 24 seven and I would uh, imagine that this thing would run, you know, uh, the, 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 I've been doing testing on this all day. Uh, all the slides I just like basically took all the, the live video from doing the prime 95 run and the, uh, the fire strike run. I've been working on this computer for about two hours, three hours now. So the liquid in here is as hot as it's ever going to get. And it's been running, uh, uh, the heaven benchmark here for, you know, as long as it's taking me to do a few takes of this and we're still only at 50, 51 degrees on the, uh, the GPU. So that's, that's killer. This thing could gain for hours and hours and the fluid in it would probably never break like 70 degrees. So that's, that's pretty cool. I think that's, that's awesome. So I'm at watch Timmy Joe on Instagram and Twitter. I want to say I really digged doing this whole setup. Uh, the, the gains were not seen, but that's because I was doing extreme things to cool the CPU anyways before. And truthfully, I never put all those components in a case that was locked, you know, on all sides. It was on an open air test bench. So, uh, th this isn't like, you know, 10, 12, 25 degrees worth of cooling, uh, over what I was using before at AIO and a custom cooler on my GPU, but it is now, uh, its own, you know, sealed unit. Everything's working very well. It's, uh, fairly quiet. Uh, when in gaming, I can, you know, it, it doesn't ramp up. I can't really hear it, uh, when I'm doing like crazy CPU benchmarks or, you know, prime 95, it, the fans do ramp up to a point where they're audible and I can turn the pump up and really, you know, maximize the performance that way. But, uh, and then the theme is Canada. I mean, that's awesome. No, none of you guys figured that out, but the theme is Canada red and white white on the fans you know in the middle there it's like the canadian flag got a little canada uh little button in there uh and uh i thought just you know some some patriot stuff you know all y'all americans will make you know your flags wave thought i'd do that in this case but it's not like i'm some you know advocate for canada I just i love living here and you know we're we're probably the greatest country ever but we'll barely ever admit it so i'm at watch to me join instagram and twitter this has been a super fun build and I have enough stuff left over. I'm just waiting for a, a CPU block to come in 
to do a whole other water cool build so this will not be the last you see of water cooling on this channel and uh, I might do a Ryzen system next my Ryzen system my 1700 and just see how that goes but uh, you know, I'll be like Greg from Science Studio I'll just constantly cycle out you know different computer cases and stuff and do water cool builds it'll be fun because why not it looks really fun and you know you can always do another build might try some etching on the glass on this case eventually do some testing on that I'd love to do uh, a full review on that pump because I'm interested to see if it withstands the test of time, especially considering I don't have it upright and the fluid is constantly hitting the aluminum cap on that thing. Apparently it's galvanized, but that might not matter over time. But, uh, you know, with my, with my cherry flavored uh, coolant, you know, I think everything should be fine. So I watched me doing Instagram and Twitter. I'm going to quit blathering, but the water cool build, super worth it in my opinion for me. I'll let you decide on whether you want to spend like $500 extra to make your computer look like it's got some sort of a waterworks factory inside of it. But in the end, it's, it's definitely super cool and you can achieve some extremely good overclocking results if you're clever with the way you design it and do all everything right. Uh, but it, you know, it took me a day to build this thing once I had planned it out. And it wasn't, it wasn't that bad, it wasn't that hard. I, I kind of rushed it just to make sure it would get done. But it, you know, over the, a weekend, you could build this thing, no problem. And you could have a lot of fun while you're doing it. See you guys in another video. Thanks very much for watching and more content on the, on the way, on the dock, it's coming soon. R9270 review coming soon to a Timmy Joe computer near you.